David, we're playing Truth or Dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Oh, oh my God. It's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so good. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it! I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I... Somebody's got a crush! Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up! Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular, and if you come for her title... Girl, she's gonna come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. <laughs> no way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Yeah. Smile at Sydney! She looks so pretty! Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter... went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Please, Lucas, go get my EpiPen. I can't breathe. Rebecca, tell my boys to let Peter go. It's done. Her throat is closing up. Let's get her some oxygen. Inject her with the antihistamine now. They said she's going to make it. I heard Rebecca and Lucas are going to prison. Can't believe she made it to 100%. This is so going in the yearbook. Hey, everybody out. She has to rest. Peter? Hey, Sid, you're awake. Where's my dad? He got stuck in a really bad traffic jam. He's on his way. I told him I'd wait here with you. Sid, you don't know how worried I was. 
Rebecca and Lucas are gonna pay for what they did. I'm just so happy you're okay. Peter, look. Hey. <laughs> you know, I knew it was you. I found this on the ground. Thought I'd return it to you. You get some rest. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two of the kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <coughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow. Hey. <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice... Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please, don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. <laughs>
I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s? <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s? <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. What am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom... Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around, and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. This might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh, man. Mom! <sighs> <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. 
You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval Times. What? Medieval Times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom! Oh, honey, smile! Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're going to have to join them. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit, I knew it, the makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No, you're a hider. I can explain. You little liar, I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her. <laughs> um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. 
It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie? Found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No! Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please! Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone! You pick the next game. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you, it's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! Yeah. How are you doing that? Powers detected. Oh. 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 Sissy, stop! FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No using powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. <laughs> you let her go! You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No! Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked ya. What? Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Aw, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Ah, <sighs> the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words. Magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you.
and one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is. Get her. You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Uh, don't hold her like that. Wait. My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I... Silence. Look at your score. I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. Mm. I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But... Run, now! <laughs> Hey, shoo! Get out of here! Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vines. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Son! Dad, where were... you? I just found this girl. Dad, this is the princess. Are you okay? Yes, but the queen, she's trying to have me killed. Why? I can't believe this is all because she's jealous of you. You can stay here with us as long as you need, princess. Our cabin is safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Here's an extra pillow in case you need it tonight. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. Right. How rude of me. My name is Zachary, princess. Well, I appreciate your help, Zachary. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. My son and I are off to go hunting. We'll be gone for a few hours. While we're gone, do not open that door to anyone. I promise I won't. How did you get in here? Go. Be free. I guess the likeness score works on animals, too. Now that I'm at a hundred percent, I get to meet my soulmate. That must be him. Now that I reached a hundred percent, that has to be my soulmate. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I... I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just... <laughs> delicious. You're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No, this is my fault, Dad. Son, it is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? Princess, you're... you're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the Queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now. And I gotta say, it really suits her. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> ah, ah. 
Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <coughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just going to say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm going to find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice... Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. Shh, it's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. Just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the... 
I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's going to meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back, I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies, I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh, jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. All right, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you've got to try on. Oh, no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come in. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what air your soulmate dresses from now? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. We start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs, so how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell mommy and daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are going to... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. But I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. What did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. 
Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye, guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Good morning, children. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah. Good. Come here. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! Whoa, is that a gaming system? Look at all these video games! I've never seen so many Squishmallows in my life! They're all yours. Hungry for Starbucks? You have a Starbucks in your house? That is so cool. Would you two like some Frappuccinos? Yes, yes please. please. Children, I have to go to a meeting. Please stay in this room until I get back. Hey, Molly, oh. aren't you glad you gave him a chance? <laughs> what are you doing? We're not supposed to use our powers. Someone could see us. Chill out. No one's around. Come play with us, Molly. <laughs> Come on, I know you want to use your powers. <laughs> your koala better square up. <laughs> Stop. What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong. Up there. Oh no. A camera. That means he's been watching us this whole time, and he knows about our powers. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I think I know how we can escape. I see you found the camera. You two aren't going anywhere. I know you both have powers. And I'm not letting you two leave this place ever. What do you want from us? I want you to help me take over the world. You're crazy. <gasps> Maybe, but now you're stuck with me. Take them to the experiment room. No! It's gonna be okay. Give me that. You give her that back or else... <sighs> you try anything and he'll attack you. Hey, you can talk to animals, right? I haven't done it in a really long time. He's gonna be back any minute, just try. <gasps> Please calm down. We need your help. We don't mean you any harm. Good boy, now go do what I told you. He's gonna help us escape. Yes, I knew that would work. Whoa, boy, what are you doing? Hey, get off of me! Run! Wait, I almost forgot. Molly, come on! Watch out, another bodyguard is coming! Let's go! Hello? Did your penguin just talk? Molly, Max, is that you? Yes, it's us. Who is this? It's me, your mom. And me, your dad. What? It's a long story, but all of us aren't from this planet. Molly, let me see that. We believe we're close by to you. Follow your instincts and find us. I think it's really them. Let's go meet them. You are not meeting anyone. You two belong to me. No, we don't. Molly, now. <gasps> hey, put me down. Okay. Whatever, Whatever you, you say. say. Time to go find our real parents. No way. This has got to be it. This is the ship. I kind of remember it now. I think I see mom and dad. Come on. Right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom, isn't that symbol the same one that... Cover that up. What? But why would I need to... Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. And now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you'll simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals a symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. <laughs> this is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please, at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god! I call dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because in my sister's will, it clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt 
you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup must have... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ugh, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to- Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big time movie star and you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up on the streets because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol? What? No, I... Girl, listen, I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh, my God. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't- Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're going to have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're going to have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then you'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell him anything. Ow. Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No. Hey, kid. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's going to be all right. Let's go this way. No. We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are going to pay. You should know that. You think I'd come here alone? <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I bought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it. I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Rosso, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Rosso? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Ruby Star. What the? 
Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking about things. I hear you. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star's making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Nate. Oh, no, he didn't. Nate. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate. Shh, enough chit chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom, uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it, it's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful, so I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right, come on, let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least, that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Whoa! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. 
Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you, too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my big- <clears throat> Agent 22, Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No. No, he wouldn't do that. And you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know. But since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, You're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has, uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long have you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby. But that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? So, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Ah, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss. But I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You want to get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you want to buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some words. Please, you can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm gonna go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. Breaking news as of today. What's going on? Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. 
You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with- <laughs> You ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you. I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me. But they won't find you. You have been summoned. Whoa, what the? Where did you come from? Don't be afraid. I see you have found my lamp. Are you a genie? Yes, and you are my new master. Whatever you wish is my command. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, why, yes. Anything you wish for, I shall give you, master. You don't have to call me that. Well, then what shall I call you? Just call me Daniel. Okay, Daniel. What do you wish for first? I only get three wishes, right? Oh, no. You see, I am a special genie, and I have the gift of granting infinite wishes. This is incredible. But do be careful what you wish for, because... I wish for a hundred bucks. Whoa, holy sh... You really weren't kidding. We can't let anyone know about you. Why not? Because they could try to misuse your power, you know? Hey, Daniel, who is this? I'm his... Girlfriend. She's... she's my girlfriend. She is? She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited... Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson, just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. <laughs> that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. When I come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sit.